Welcome to Italy! <laughs> Welcome to the San Gervasio vlog. We start out here playing with the locals in Trento, Italy, the home site of Thomas de Gasperi, and just one of the most beautiful lakes that I've ever skied at. It was a massive lake that we were the only boat that was allowed on it, and just a fantastic experience to be able to get a few little sets in before the tournament, but have a little relaxing holiday beforehand. We then took a little trip up north, a little bit more to an amazing lake to go for a little swim with the guys, where John left us a lovely little present. Oh, oh, man. Ready? Oh, that's cold. Oh, ready? Go, 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 go. One, two, three. Oh, it's cold. This is cold. <laughs> That was cool. Look, this is sticky. It'll stick to the inside of your sock. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a pretty good plaster. It's not a heavy float. No, <laughs> definitely not a heavy float. <laughs> and after an awesome few days, like always, finishing the trip off with an amazing ice cream trip and obviously Will's favourite sport, <laughs> good old speed. <laughs> so after a quick two hour trip back to San Gervasio, we ended up heading to our Airbnb after practice and going for a little trip on our day off around Lake Garda. Will heard of some cliff jumping spots and we had to go take a look. This was the beautiful town around Lake Garda and this was the spot that we ended up finding from the locals. Fantastic spot, a lot of fun. And check out John's majestic jump. <laughs> All right, so after a fantastic day cliff diving, we had a little bit of an oopsie. What happened? A little bit of a car accident. <laughs> a little, little rear end action on the way to dinner. But everybody is okay. The car is fine. We eventually made it to dinner and ready for a big day tomorrow. And technically she didn't crash into anyone. People crashed into her, so you're yeah. in the clear. We were able to stop, they weren't able to stop. But, but it was a little bit of an eventful trip, so mm -hmm. we missed half of the athlete's dinner. We got a bibs late, I couldn't film anything but it was a great day. I'm quite sick, which is not great. Um, I'm, my nose is running, so I'm gonna snore tonight. And then um, it is go time tomorrow. Morning. Morning. Ready to rumble? Oh yeah. All right, so we are staying in this smallish place, me, Jamie and Ali, and it is 45 minutes away. Beautiful, it's in Lake Garda, it's very fantastic, but the 45 minutes away thing is a little bit annoying. The girls want to get there super, 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 super early, then I'm like 20 skiers after them. So anyway, we're going, it's 8.15, ready to rumble, we're gonna get some pastries on the way. They've got some yogurt from the region. Next, a little, little tight from the crash, but we're all good. My new favorite thing to do is to walk into a whatever that was and just ask for whatever's good. And we got roast beef and cheese. Let's see. So you didn't suck? How do you feel? Why do I travel with this human? <laughs> it's fun, really, I promise. <laughs> yeah, it felt good out there. Uh, um, uh, that's it. Felt pretty good. Just, 39 just... was good. 41 was meh. What are you gonna do next round on 41? Better. Woman of many words. All right, the guys are out now. I think John's out there first, then me, then Will, then Mateo's in there somewhere. Conditions are looking absolutely primo. I'm ready to roll. This is a 10.75 meters. Oh. Well, unfortunately, that's round one done. Bit of deja vu from last year. Better than last year, but honestly not really sure what happened. Watching the video, I think I just ended up a little bit on my heels and just didn't put myself in the right situation. But we're gonna go get ice cream now and hopefully cheer up a little bit. Ice cream time. What do you think of Italian drivers, John? But Americans are the worst, so I can't really complain, so... <laughs> no, it's not strawberry, it's mixed berry. It's just free ski ice cream, so we're keeping it light. And strawberry makes it light. Fruit is healthy. Me and Will got hungry, so we're eating pasta. Tasty. Wow. It's very Italian. That was very tasty. How do you do this? Like, just stare at the camera and say that. All right, so just trying to chill here on Ali Nicholson's roll-up. She went down, unfortunately, a little bit earlier as well with a one and a half at 38. So we're both sitting outside of the bubble right now. The cuts aren't massively high. We just massively messed up. So a little bit of a rough headspace to be in to feel good coming into the tournament and for that to happen. So not great, but we move on, take a nap. The ice cream was mega good and we move on to the next round. Honey, what's going on? What do you think of Jamie skiing? <laughs> what do you think of Jamie skiing? Yeah. It's all right. I mean, to be honest, like stopping at five is a little bit like, it's a, a bit lame, you know? You don't normally don't stop at five. Don't try it. Like, don't try to copy her. It's not good. I mean, other skiers would have finished that pass. What do you think of Jaime's skin? I don't know if, like, the way he warms up is how he wants to ski. 
Oi, oi, oi. The big surprise of the first round, Rob Hazelwood going down early, but he's got a good one, and I think he's in great shape to run this too. And this is easy. Th oh, not a good three. Uh, this is interesting. Four is big, oh, and will he have the on four. five? And he's not going to get around six, surely. Or yeah, did he? They've given him. They've given him five. They've given him five. We're back on the dock with Rob, who just got down skiing. Rob, what happened out there? I actually felt better. Obviously, messed up one ball. I had a beautiful one ball. Good two. Not the best four. And then I don't know what happened at five. I just kind of choked up a little bit. I guess the simplest way I choked, really. I thought I got the six. I knew it was close. With TWC around, you can't get away with anything. <laughs> so you, you respect the call and, and you go with it. That's all that can be done. All right, that's the ski set done. I'm getting a lift down with wonderful Connor to do some commentary. Five at 39. Good, kind of happy with it, but... What can you do? Not what I wanted. I'm in eighth right now. Mateo just went out there and got five and a half at 39. So not the best, but I got three more people. We'll see what will be and we'll find out. Here he comes. Nicholas Nelson needs the start. Rob's heart rate rapidly increasing now. Here we go. Through the gates and onto one. Pretty good one there. Good to go over to two. See if he can stay in and out of three. Oh, oh no, he handle. drops the handle. <laughs> Christmas has come early for Robert Hazelwood. The pet the wild animal. The it is the chicken. <laughs> You're telling me that this is a chicken noise. And you make your chicken noise. Not that. And you... <laughs> See, the dog <laughs> thinks it's a chicken. The, yeah, but the dog thinks we're not a battery. Make your best chicken noise. <laughs> Good morning. It's Finals day. Also, anyone wondering, I got the double bed. Don't quite know how that happened. It is a wonderful day. However, we are packing, as Jamie is quite evidently showing. We're always packing. We have packed a lot lately. Our car is quite tiny, so it won't fit in. So we have to pack all of our stuff in our ski bags properly, take it all to the lake, probably get lunch at some point, and get on the way. I don't have that much stuff. It all fits in that case. I just can't really be bothered to do it. I just want to ski, eat some good food, and then I'm excited to go home and chill for a few weeks. But let's get on the way and finish packing. Oh, this that's going to fit. Everything. I'm enjoy this one. Hmm. I'm pro. A new purse. Think it suits me? Hi, chickens. Is that deja vu? Deja vu cancelled. They don't serve food till 12, so we'll find it somewhere else. Dainty burger than you've ever seen. Athletes over here. Just yeah, you've got pasta coming. <laughs> that was a very, very, very good burger. Very bougie. But it was nice and small, so I'm feeling good, ready to go. And oh, the girls are in a rush because we're a little bit late, so let's go. Time for the boat parade. Ali. Look at all the syndicates. No India ones? Look at all of them. We're everywhere. Let's go England! How do you rate this temperature out of 10? It's hot. At least, in all honesty, at least like the water is not awful. Like it's, it cools it's you down. It's pretty awful. It cools you down. It's not like unbearably hot. It's, no. It's like hell. <laughs> then the football's the foosball. Of course. He's gone down. He beat me twice yesterday. Too much going on. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Oh, I just feel happy about my chances and I'm happy that I was close to the uh, to the game. And you? Oh, I'm just a beast. All right, so we are ready and rocking to go. Warmed up with some table football. Cooled down with a cold shower. That was Jamie's idea. That was genius. Because it is so warm here right now. Ball obviously got Freddie Winter, who is on an absolute tear right now. So, not really much pressure on me, to be honest. Right now, I just got to go ski. I was pretty tense yesterday. I don't really know why. But I was tense all day, and I feel a little bit more relaxed today. So, I've just got to get through the 39 and then show 41 who's boss, I guess. But we'll find out. Alright, so obviously, if you don't know how head works, it's me, obviously, versus Freddie. He will pick to see who goes first. I'll go first. Because he's the higher seed, and I will pick driver. I'll go with Mario in the Black boat. Both drivers felt pretty similar, both boats felt pretty similar, so I'll just go with probably the person who I went with in round two because they scored better, but it's relatively equal. Rob Hazelwood, in order to, uh, to continue on with this pairing, has got to run this pass. He gets round number one. He's good to go round number two at 10.75. He's round number three. What does he have on four? Big turn on four. He's still there. He's round number five. Can he make a play on six? 
Oh, and he comes up short. I don't know what it is about this place. I just suck here. I don't know why. 3.39's missed. Second time this year. Quite frustrating. So next up is John versus Will. Same as last year. Competition's up. Let's see who ends up going through Syndicate 01. Through Syndicate 01. That is the first one of head to heads done as well. Will did beat John. Um, they both skied pretty well. They got through the 39s. But Will ended up beating him. John struggling getting a 1 at 41. And Will getting the 1.5 that he needed to win. It's something a little weird here. Whether it's the water's extremely hot. Everyone is struggling. Everyone's to get moving it's so sticky it's so slow and it's making just a little bit challenging for everyone it seems the best people are still gonna win the best skiers are still gonna win but Jamie is gonna be next up against Ali Garcia and then we have Ali Nicholson up against Manon Costard and then in the men in the semis it's gonna be Will versus Freddy which is gonna be an awesome battle let's see how they do oh no whoa look at this round number three round number four she is in oak oh my word she's left the door open here she has left the door open Ali Garcia, can she take advantage of this opportunity? Round number three, does she get a piece of number four, five? And she is through to the final. Wow. All right, here's Ali coming in. 39, she needs a piece of five, gets a good one. Come on, girl. Gets a good two. She keeps moving, come on. Let's see a good four. She gets it and she is through to the final. That is some impressive skiing there. When Manon went out and ran four, that was definitely... That was some impressive I was skiing. watching on the end, like, whoo, whoo. I pulled out of my gate, I was like, just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. And when I got outside four, I was like, all right, yeah. all the way to five. But you got it done, congratulations. So with a little bit of a shock result there from Jamie, Ali is in the final, let's see if Will can match him. Freddie on the left, Will on the right. Freddie went out first. Will needs to get a good three as he has to beat Freddie by the quarter, but just does not get it and narrow misses out on that final and finishes in third place. However, next up in the final, we have Ali Nicholson against Ali Garcia. Ali Nicholson obviously carrying the seed and getting to choose to go first. She has to get through this 11 meter line length to put a little bit of pressure on Ali Garcia and see what she can put together. Gets a beautiful start and let's see what she can do. Here she goes, round number five. This is 11.25 meters and she gets that one to go. Ali Garcia, who in this competition has run 11.25 meters on every single occasion that it has been presented to her. Round number one, look at her go, a long pull into, the, oh, I'm going down round buoy number two, which means that your slalom champion here at the ninth annual San Gervasio Pro-Am, Ali Nicholson. There you are. Congratulations. I was watching. Off. How does it feel to win again? Really good. Really good. With some awesome skiing, how'd you feel out there? No, I felt really. I felt a lot better today, and then um, I'm super happy with my score in the second round of the runoffs. First win in almost a year, I guess. Yeah. And yep. Let's hope it starts to trend. Keeping it running uh -huh. for Team Syndicate. Good job, Alden. Thank you. Uh, some crazy intense skiing that is an end to the weekend just a weird weekend all around for me and for kind of everyone I think everyone was just tired it's crazy hot here I mean it's just so hot I'm sweating everywhere but an amazing weekend um, unfortunately it didn't finish how I wanted it to I love this place and I really wanted to make a good showing but no 39s down which is a shame anyway we we'll see you guys in the next one. We will be probably in California. I'll know by the time I post this if I'll be in California, but we will see you in the next one. Thank you guys.